It's an event that has been centuries in the making, and now we're just a couple of hours away from a rare celestial treat. A solar eclipse that will be total for millions of people in a wide stretch of the country and with about 96% coverage here in mid-Michigan. We've got several stories on this topic today and we're going to kick off our coverage with 6 News reporter Ray Sherman who joined us now live from Francis Park in Lansing. Happy Solar Eclipse Day, Ray. How are you? Hi, yes, good afternoon, Jorma. Between the hours of 2 p.m. and 4.30 p.m., mid-Michiganders will have the chance to experience a solar eclipse. That'll cover about 96% of the sun, so it's not a full total solar eclipse, but you can view it right here at Francis Park in Lansing. Take a look. Today, mid-Michiganders will have the chance to see something that experts say won't be back until 2045, a solar eclipse. As the Earth and Moon move up, uh, move in space, that shadow will move across the Earth in a path that we call the path of totality. And so if you are in that path of totality, you will get to see the moon completely cover the sun. According to Shannon Schmoll, director of the Abrams Planetarium at Michigan State University. During the eclipse, the sky will get dark. We will see a 360 degree sunset and also notice some bright stars and planets. In mid-Michigan, it will appear as a partial solar eclipse, but the moon will still cover almost all of the sun. We have about a 96% coverage, just a little bit more. So at maximum eclipse, we'll see a little crescent still of the sun. And there's still a lot of sunlight coming out of that. You might feel the lighting change. It might feel a little eerie. The temperature might drop. Schmoll says it'll be about a two and a half hour long event, starting from when the moon starts to cover the sun around 2 p.m. with maximum coverage for us happening at 3.12 p.m. So make sure you're outside around then to check that out with your proper eye protection. But if you are able to and are interested in traveling to the path of totality, Toledo and Ohio is one of the best, uh, the closest places for us to go see the totality. Yes, now as mentioned, Six News will be hosting a viewing party for this phenomenon. It's right here at Francis Park starting at 2 p.m. Here from Lansing, Ray Sherman, Six News. Ray, we appreciate that and we'd like for you to join us for the eclipse. As Ray was just talking about, Six News is hosting Eclipse in the Park at two places in mid-Michigan, one at Francis Park in Lansing where you just saw Ray and at Nixon Park in Jackson. Our Six News meteorologist will be there along with safety glasses while supplies last to protect your eyes while you watch. The Eclipse and event starts at 2 and the peak of the Eclipse again should hit about 3.12 p.m.